Hey, it's Russell Yermel with FreeBlogFactory.com, and in this video, we're going to teach you about WordPress categories. So the first thing you want to do, from your dashboard, select the Post menu on the left side, and then you want to go into Categories Options, and this is where you're actually able to set up categories for each one of your posts, which enables you to organize your post and allow the reader to know specifically what you're writing about. It also helps you with the search engines if you're configured to use blog categories for SEO, which we'll teach you in a, in a further module. So the first thing I want to teach you is how to add a new category. So let's say that my blog has always been about you know pizza and sushi, and now I'm going to start blogging about hot dogs. So I want to go ahead and add a, a hot dog category, and then I'll be able to write posts about cat, hot dogs. Now the slug is something that's used for SEO. It's not actually something that we use for your WordPress blogs because we use your permalinks where it just uses the, per the post name. But if you decided to set up your, your blog to where it used the categories and the slugs, this would be an option you'd be interested in. But right now it doesn't matter. So we'll just use hot dogs for the, for the, uh, for the slug. And then finally, you can set a parent. Just like with pages, you can organize categories into categories and then subcategories. Now we're not going to use a parent here, but if you had a whole section on your blog dedicated to food, and then hot dogs was a subcategory, you go ahead and, and set it as a parent. Finally, you write a description of the category, so we'll put posts about hot dogs. And now we have a new category. <clears throat> so that's set. Now the next thing you want to do is actually write a post that goes into your category. So go here, and I'll put sample post about hot dogs. Put some body text, hot dogs are cool. And then on the right side, this is where you actually set the categories to your post. Now, once again, the cool thing about categories is it allows you to organize the information on your blog and help your readers find you according to what they're interested in. So you always want to be specific with your categories. So I'm going to go ahead and mark this as hot dogs. There's my hot dogs category. And then I'll click publish. Now, you might not notice anything right off the bat uh, with the new post. But let's go ahead and find that post and see how that how that changed it. So we're going to go to the blog page on our blog. And here's our post about hot dogs. Now the first thing you, you'll notice is that up here, it puts hot dogs because that's a category that's under. Also, down here, filed under hot dogs. This means people can find posts by the category. If we click on hot dogs here, it pulls off a list of every post about hot dogs. So that's where it's beneficial to organize your post based on category. So if I, was, if I was seriously blogging about food and I had about 30 posts about hot dogs and all the reader wanted to read about was hot dogs, they'd be able to click on the hot dog category and find all my posts about hot dogs. Way cool for your readers. That's going to help you out because your readers are going to like you. They're going to enjoy how easy it is to find information on your blog. And it'll keep them coming back, which helps you make more money. So that's how you'll set up your categories. Additionally, you'll want to look on the archive page of your blog. And this is another place where categories come into play. Under categories, we have hot dogs. You can choose any one of the categories here. Once again, we'll click hot dogs and I'll pull up every post I have about hot dogs. So that concludes what we want to show you about hot dogs. That's how you, sh or what we want to show you about categories. That's how you set up a new one. And finally, if you want to change a category, you can always do that just by clicking on the name of it. That brings you to edit. You can change the slug, change the category name, change the parent. So now I could even do, I could say that hot dogs are featured posts. And now if we go into the archive, under Featured, we have Hot Dogs. And then also, if you click on Featured, Hot Dogs is going to be there. And finally, if you go to the post, we now have Featured up here. And not down here, because this basically shows the uh, hierarchy of, of the categories. But basically, it makes it more organized for your readers. All right, well, thanks for checking this video out. We'll see you in the next video. And we'll be teaching about more ways to customize your post before we go further into more advanced options such as setting up plugins and widgets for your theme. Alright, once again, this is Russell Yermo with FreeBlogFactory.com, and thanks for checking out this free training video on WordPress categories.